Hi and welcome to Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this episode we are fixing the newer NL140 Studio Lite. If you have one of these and it's not powering on properly, this is the video to watch and I'll show you how to get it done. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started with fixing our newer NL140 Studio Lite. Situation with this is we have two of these that we use in our studio and all of a sudden our host just heard a pop during one of our shows and both lights went out. So in my head, I was like, there's probably a surge that happened on the uh, the power um, line that it was on and caused damage to these things. So if you have one laying around that you, you know, you probably have the same issue. This is the video to watch to get it fixed. It's a really, really easy fix for <laughs> for these. And um, uh, like I said, uh, well, we have two of these that are malfunctioning, but I already fixed one of them. So I want to do this video uh, to show you guys how I did uh, the repair and what you need to, uh, to fix it. So getting started, you break out your tools. You're going to need a screwdriver with a, what size is this? I think it's a, uh, well, I don't have a hex key, so I'm using a Torx T10. Uh, first thing to do actually would be to remove these retainers on the side that holds them in place. So we'll take this out first. And moving on, there's going to be four screws that you're going to have to remove. One here, 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 and there. Uh, you can remove the diffuser too, just to make it easier. So uh, we're going to start with four screws. Make sure you set them aside so you know where, I mean, personally, I like grouping stuff in the order that I'm doing it. So once I track back into assembly, I, I know which, uh, which batch of screws go where. So once you get those four screws out, that will take off the barn door assembly up front and it'll expose the whole panel and there's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve more screws that we're going to have to remove um i am using a ph1 size uh, screwdriver on my little ryobi uh, electric screwdriver here so i could save you guys time so we're just going to loosen all these Okay, once you get it all loosened up, you can just rock it out and take this frame off. Set it aside. Now, this whole LED panel, you can just probably put your hands behind here and just try and pry it out. Be careful though, because there is a wire connecting it to the circuit board inside. Uh, what I like to do is hold it this way. Take my two index fingers and pull the connection out. There is going to be like a rubbery adhesive in there too, so be careful with that. Okay, now that we are in the circuit, uh, I want to zoom it in here so you guys can see. If I can zoom this thing in. Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I don't think it works. I'm just going to have to be by the camera here. Okay, so when I open this up, on the two... NL140s that we have, they both had a blown capacitor on this side. So if you see that little marking there, it means that uh, a capacitor goes in there and that will be the negative side of it. Um, I do have the <laughs> blown capacitors. Okay, if you're into electronics and you know what blown capacitors look like, they usually pop or vent or hiss or leak. But this one basically ejected the... Uh, yeah, this one ejected the top shell of it. You can see it's hollow there. It literally just like, poof, I'm out of here. And that's it. <laughs> so, um, so the reason why this is already done is because I had to use one of the lights and I took one capacitor from here to fix the other one. Now this one needs two. But 
this is what you're going to see here. It's usually uh, situated in there like so. See, that's how it looks like when I open it. But I already desoldered it. I cleaned up the uh, uh, the through and through solder joints there. So it'll be ready for the parts when it comes in. But yeah, you just need to desolder this. Put a new one on there. Um, if you're watching this video before even trying, I will tell you now what you need. It's going to be a... Um, if I can get this to focus. Come on. There. It's a 100 microfarad, 35 volt capacitor. So if you have these handy, perfect. If not, uh, order them first. That way you can have one just go at it when you try to fix it. And then make sure that this, I mean, if this is the first time you're doing this, you're soldering it. This negative side here goes to that um, shaded part there, which means uh, as capacitors go, they have a matched foot on each side. So the lead with the uh, where the negative is, it's going to go to that hole right there. So negative marking to that shaded marking and the foot goes on there, the lead. Trim it to the back and solder it in place. And basically just do the whole process in reverse and your your light should work. I mean, technically, if that was the only thing wrong with it, then this is an easy fix. Um, I think this is a weak spot on the circuit because um, based on opening two of these lights, those were both the points of failure. So while you're in here, uh, check the other capacitors to make sure they are good. Make sure there's no uh, bulging or, or leaking or bloating on the other capacitors. Because as long as they're okay, uh, you just need to replace this one. Uh, the symptoms for having that issue there is when you plug it in and you turn it on, it turns on for literally half a second and it shuts off. So if you're having that issue with your NL140, this is how to fix it. Just uh, disregard this. I took the other one here to fix the other one. So uh, solder on a new 35 volt, 100 microfarad capacitor on there. Make sure it's clean. Don't. I mean, when, when you solder it, make sure that there's no uh, there's no joint joining these two. Just uh, make sure everything is clean, that your solder joints are clean. Reassemble it, and basically that's it. Um, let me take this camera off of my uh, tripod here. So yeah, this is a uh, this is the other NL140 that I'm using. Oh my god, image is so dim. There we go. That's the other NL140 that popped. And I repaired it by... Oh my god. See, it's on 100% almost. <laughs> and I repaired it by taking... Like I said, the... Ah! Okay. Yeah, the capacitor on this side of it is also popped. Well, since I don't have any caps in stock that day, I had to make one work. So I took out one of the capacitors from this one, which has the same rating as that one and I put it on the other light now it works and yours will too if you do the simple step so I hope this video helped you out uh, if it didn't then your light might have suffered a little more damage than this one but it seems like it's pretty common as I encountered it on two of our uh, of our same model lights here um, but so far that was that's all I got for today and if this helped you out, uh, drop a like and do me a favor and subscribe. We've already reached 300 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And, you know, thank you so much for all the support. Uh, I really appreciate it. If there's anything I find here that, you know, we can put on the channel to troubleshoot or to repair, I will definitely put it there to give everyone more information because that's basically what the Internet is for. There we go. All right. I am done here. I'll reassemble this once I get the new part and we'll just set it aside there. Here are the two blown capacitors that came from the two lights. As you can see, they're both, they both suffered the same fate. Very tragic. But yeah, we're, we're going to get that fixed once the parts come in and basically that's it for now. I'll see you guys on the next video.
Thanks so much for watching and if this video helped you out, please hit that like button. And if not, then leave a comment down below so we can troubleshoot your issues further. And lastly, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon as well so you can be notified of the new helpful troubleshooting videos once they are uploaded. We'll see you on the next one.